Glimms is a very powerful plugin for Safari that allows you to customize, among other things, how your tabs work, how your downloads work, and most importantly, at least for this update, your search capabilities. You just download it and install it like any other program. Double click on the package and you get your installer, which I won't be using because I already have it plugged in. Now, once it's installed, when you go to, under Safari, you go to your preferences, you will see, after all your usual preference panes, a preference pane on the end for Glimms. Now with Glimms, you can uh, do all kinds of tweaks to your system. Um, you can have the download window close once it's idle, which I love because I hate the way it stays open. Um, instead of just ending up with a giant download folder that has just all your stuff in it, you can have it create a folder for every day and you can customize the date. You can change some of the bookmarks, you can have uh, full screen mode, you can have it open up in uh, every link, open up in tabs, which I prefer. Um, you can uh, reopen, if you accidentally close a tab, you can set it up to undo, which is very cool, because I'm always accidentally closing a tab. But what I wanted to show you was the search capabilities. Now. I stumbled on this because I was looking for a way to add search to the address bar like is available in Chrome and Firefox, at least the new Firefox beta, I don't know if it was in the other one. And by natively, Safari doesn't do that. So I went and I found Glimpse and it turns out that you actually can get more power out of Glimpse than you even can in those other two browsers. It comes with a ton of uh, search engines already uh, set. All you have to do is set up a keyword. So for Google, um, I just hit, and Google was already here, so I edit it, and I just give it a keyword of S. So if I need search for anything, I just type S and then my search term and I have a Google search. If I want to use the SSL encrypted search, I uh, use GS. And now I have the encrypted search. Now S and GS are just the keywords that I set up. You can set up any keyword that you want. Now the way this works is any site that has a search query, you can you can create your own keyword and search engine for. So let's say I want to be able to search php. And I want to be able to quickly search for functions, whichever function I'm thinking of at the time. Well, if I search for any function, I see right here that they do have a query string. Now it's not your normal, usually uh, if you are looking for something that has a query string, you'll see something like this. Search. You'll see that a lot in sites that you can do search for. But, in this case, it's simply function.time.php. But, if you'll notice, if you take away the .php, it'll still search for it. So if I replace the time.php with just date, I get date. I get the date function. If I replace it with exclude, I get that function. So, this is our query string. So let's go back into Preferences, Glimms, Search Engine List, and now we're going to add one. We'll give it the name PHP Functions. It is a website, 
and we replace this query URL with this one, except we get rid of the query that we ran. So everything after function dot would be the query. Now we give it a keyword shortcut. I'm going to call it phpf. So whenever I type, I can type phpf space, type out a function, and I can go look for, and it will automatically search for that function. So let's try it out. And there you go. Now, like I said, you can do this with any website that allows you to search it. So IMDB, here's our query string. As soon as the Q equals, and you see this is where your query happens. So what we'll do is we will copy everything up to the equal sign. And then we'll open up our preferences, go back to Glims, Engine List, Add, IMDB, Search. And then just replace this URL with this URL. Give it a keyword. I'll just give it I. And now, no matter where we are, we decide we want to look something up. And there we go. Very useful plugin, very powerful. I haven't even gotten into the great things it can do with your, well, I got a little bit into the things it can do with your download and uh, whatnot. So if you use Safari, download it, give it a whirl, and I think you're going to enjoy it. And uh, listen to the podcast, revengeofthefanboy.com, for more picks like this every week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.